as we gather together as God's people, whether we're in this sanctuary for worship, whether we're worshiping from home, whether we're worshiping from another part of the world, um, as we gather together on this Sunday, the second Sunday of Advent, the Sunday of peace, we gather together as God's people, continuing our journey, our preparation for the coming of the Messiah. We do have a couple of announcements to share with the congregation so that folks are uh, prepared and ready for some of the things that are upcoming. Uh, the first is that today is our deadline for a couple of uh, items on our uh, monthly celebration piece for Advent. The first is our poinsettia orders. Um, if you would like to order a poinsettia in honor or in memory of someone, uh, our time is uh, at hand today to get those forms uh, completed. Marilyn, do you just want them handed directly to you or put it in the back? Which would be best today? Okay, so either give them to Marilyn or put them on the office desk. Um, either one of those. No, uh, that, I'd say Marilyn. I'm so sorry, Marlene. <laughs> I don't know why that came. That's a Marlene. Give them to Marlene or put them on the office desk. Um, we also today was our deadline, our goal for the receiving of our hat and mittens. Uh, they are going to be delivered tomorrow. If for some reason you were not able to get them today, you grabbed the wrong bag, you forgot them at home, uh, let me know um, and we'll figure out a time for you to get them up here to the church and I'll make sure that we get them to, uh, um, to where they need to go so that uh, uh, folks have the warm clothing and protection that they need in this season. Uh, we also, for those of you online, you missed the uh, fun announcement uh, reminder of our WOW Women event on Wednesday night, our Cup of Cheer. Uh, so all of the women of the church are invited to that event. Uh, bring with you um, some kind of Cup of Cheer as a uh, gift exchange kind of experience. There were no more definition than that. So maybe it's one of those mugs that every time you pick it up, it plays um, a sound, or maybe it's filled with some uh, wonderful myths, um, however you choose to bring your cup of cheer to be a part of that celebration. But that is coming up on Wednesday. And of course, uh, our Advent worship schedule. <coughs> this is a reminder, uh, with this year, um, Christmas Eve is on Saturday night. We will be having our Christmas Eve uh, service Saturday evening. Uh, there, there will not be there will not be a Sunday morning Christmas Sunday morning service. Uh, so just make that note. Um, but Christmas Eve will be gathered together. Um, I've had a couple of folks express interest in doing some uh, parts and pieces of Christmas Eve service, whether it be um, some special offerings or reading. If you are, would like to be a part of the Christmas Eve service, please speak to me after worship. And I also still have one, um, I have two slots open, Christmas Eve and the 18th of December uh, for the lighting of the Advent candles, if anybody is interested in being a part of that in Sunday service as well. Those are our announcements. And as we've already talked about in terms of Advent, it can be sometimes so full of those things to do, those calendar events, those those tasks, that it can overwhelm what it means for us to think about the season. The season is not about the tasks, it's not about the to-dos, it's not about the invites or the schedules. Advent is about the preparation, the getting ready, the being able to welcome Christ anew in our lives. And so as we come to worship on this day, as we gather together here as God's people, that is what we are about this morning. As we begin our service, may we center ourselves, open ourselves, and prepare ourselves for the coming of Christ this day and every day in our lives. Let us enjoy and celebrate as we listen to our prayer. <coughs>
says to you and to me, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us fix your eyes upon the true light as we gather and worship today. Please join us in our opening hymn, O Come, Our Long Expected Jesus. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Now John wore clothes of camel hair with a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locust and wild honey. Then Jerusalem and Judea, and all the rain around the Jordan were going out to him, and there were baptized by him in the river confessing their sins. But when he saw... And now let us together, as we continue our Advent journey together, sing our hymn for the light of the candle, One Candle is Lit. We're going to sing verses 1 and 2.
gracious and loving God, God of peace, God of hope, God of welcome, God of love. We come this morning to celebrate, to be ready, to enjoy, to think about, and to wonder. And we come asking that you would prepare our hearts to celebrate the birth of Christ joyfully, wonderfully, graciously given to us. We ask that your peace would fall upon us so that those things that are distracting us or calling us away from this wonderful gift might not be so large or so loud, so constant. We think of your peace, O oh God, in this season of world peace, of peace between fighting peace in our hearts, a stillness, an evenness, a balance, 